Hello, how are you, fifth year? I hope you're happy and fine. Well, today is Tuesday, the 9th of June. So remember, you have to hand in the brainstorming, yes, from the uh, story, chapters one and two, yes. So today we are going to go unit seven, all these topics. We are going to work on pages 70, 71, and 72. As homework, you are going to do the exam maximizer, pages 42, 43, 44, only exercise three. You are going to read the sign of four, chapters three and four, and you are going to send me, um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you are going to do the brainstorming on chapters three and four. You are going to send your brainstorming, and you are going to send a video, yes, explaining the signs of four from chapters one to chapters four. No se pierdan de hacer esta parte, yes, porque todo lo que están haciendo, the brainstorming más este video que me vas a contar la historia from chapters 1 to chapter 4, es para la nota de la libreta de literatura complementaria, yes. Otra cosa, coma, y la mayoría, yes, la, la gente que no entregó, ¿qué pasó con la revision? Yes, con eh, la revision que mandé la clase pasada. Hubo mucha gente que no entregó. So, um, pay attention. Yes. Y Joma, yo mandé, vos tenés que, el PDF, donde ya está todo hecho, lo que vos tenés que hacer, y tiene los scores, tiene el total score, y tiene, en cada ejercicio tiene el score. Lo que vos me mandaste es una foto, ¿sí? De lo que vos sacaste de tu libro, pero eso no pedí yo. Yo mandé el PDF... ¿Sí? Está eh, con todos los scores y con el score final y está en PDF. ¿Por qué mandé yo? Explico. Para evitar que me manden mal, que me manden en una calidad que no se puede ver ni corregir. Entonces, para eso, yo saqué las fotos, las convertí en PDF y les mandé todas las fotos en un mismo PDF. Lo que vos me mandaste no te puedo corregir. Primero porque no es sobre lo que yo había trabajado, ¿sí? Y segundo, eh, no está en PDF, ¿sí? Es una captura de, 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 una captura de pantalla, es una, una foto que no es un PDF. Yo trabajo en el PDF, necesito usar los tools. Esto ya lo dije varias veces. Así que, por favor, a prestar atención. No, prestar atención. No sé lo que hiciste. Evidentemente borraste el PDF, el el que mandé yo, porque a cada alumno se le asigna ese PDF, ese trabajo. Así que, um, pay attention, darling. Yes, ok. Yes, claro. Vos tenés que escribir sobre el PDF que yo te mando. ¿Está? Yes, good. Como hacemos, como venimos haciendo eh, siempre, ¿sí? En la otra clase, es más, la otra clase ustedes tuvieron que, el, 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 el progress test anterior, ustedes tuvieron que hacerlo. Y yo noté que hubo muchos, hubo muchos errores en el sentido de que o me mandaban las hojas en diferente, me mandaban todas las hojas aparte, cuando me tenían que mandar todas las hojas en un mismo archivo, ¿sí? O la calidad de la, de la foto que me mandaban, ¿sí? Cuando me la pasaban a PDF, era una cosa que no se veía nada. Entonces, para evitar todos esos problemas, porque a mí me atrasa el trabajo... Chicos, es algo, hay algo muy importante. Yo creo que hay gente que ya lo entendió y hay otros, otras personas que no lo entendieron. El tema de no aceptar las tareas, ¿sí? Es más, yo he corregido muchas tareas que llegaron con delay. O sea que hay un, eh, una, una, cierta, una cierta tolerancia, ¿sí? Pero no es lo único que yo tengo que corregir lo que me llega de ustedes. Recuerden que yo les entrego todo en tiempo y forma. Yo no me tomo cuatro o cinco semanas para corregir una actividad de ustedes. Ustedes me mandan hoy, a no ser que algo me pase, como siempre digo. Ustedes me mandan hoy, que es el día de clase, martes, y yo ya les estoy entregando el jueves. ¿Está? Entonces, tengan la amabilidad de entregar todo lo que se les pide en tiempo y forma. Porque, bueno... Yo tengo flexibilidad, sí, te corrijo una, dos, tres veces, pero siempre con delay, ¿está? Entonces, primero porque no van a enganchar nada, ¿sí? Porque todo se corrige en tiempo y forma, ¿por qué? Porque yo en la siguiente clase que tengo un análisis de errores sobre lo que corregí y lo que el chico tiene que abrir, le tiene que llegar, abre su file, mira los errores y entiende lo que yo estoy explicando en la clase, porque si no está, si no, 
si no abrió su file, si no entregó nada, mucho menos. Va a estar súper unplanned, ¿ya? Va a estar desconectado a lo que se refiere en clase. O sea que a ponerse las pilas, yo sé que en el colegio también dan, ¿sí? Pero bueno, el colegio es otra cosa y acá es otra cosa. Yo acá necesito que ustedes cumplan con los horarios porque yo no me tomo tres, cuatro semanas para corregir algo. Pido un martes y estoy entregando la clase que viene. ¿Se entiende lo que quiero decir, no? Entonces, vamos avanzando, pero porque el trabajo se hace de esta manera también. Porque si no, no avanzaríamos. Estaríamos en la unidad cero. Yes, okay. So, uh, now we are in unit seven. Yes, but I wanted to explain that. Yes, okay. I don't have problems if you have, uh, if you have a problem, if you send me a message, teacher. I, yes, you know, everybody knows that I did. Yes, I have already corrected some, most of uh, the late homework. Yes, because you know, I know about the connectivity and everything, but you have many days for doing. Yes, okay. So, pay attention. I need the video, yes, it doesn't matter if it is, if I see you, yes, because there are some people who don't want to record a video, don't want, don't like to see themselves on a video, I don't care. But what I need is that you record uh, the activity, yes, because this is the note, yo me estoy tomando muy en serio todo el tema de las clases, y lo único que estoy pidiendo es que ustedes también se tomen en serio y con responsabilidad. ¿Sí? Entonces yo necesito, como yo trabajo responsablemente, necesito tener alumnos responsables. ¿Está? Otra cosa. Facilítenle a los padres, por favor, el tema de sus, eh, cómo tienen que entrar al Google Classroom. ¿Yes? De su dirección de, de, de correo. ¿Está? Porque se supone que yo mandé una notita en el grupo de padres, un aviso, que siéntense con los hijos a mostrarle qué están haciendo y todo. Yo evalué chicos desde que comenzaron las clases. Nos vimos las clases que nos vimos y desde ahí estoy evaluando todo. Quiere decir que no me puede preguntar un papá, ¿van a evaluar de alguna manera, Ruth? No, yo ya estoy evaluando desde que, comenzaron la, desde que comenzamos las clases con el, el Classroom, yo estoy evaluando. Así que por favor, por el respeto que me tienen, Siéntenle a los papás y díganle, acá está todo lo que evalúa la teacher Ruth. ¿Sí? No puedo estar yo de niñera detrás de ustedes. ¿Sí? Entonces, sean honestos con sus padres y muéstrenle, por favor, el classroom virtual. Esto es todo lo que evalúa la teacher Ruth. Porque si no, yo quedo como si fuera que mi trabajo estoy chanteando. Y esa palabra no existe en mi vocabulario. ¿Se entiende? Dicho lo dicho, let's go. Yes. Le tenía que decir, chicos, ¿sí? Porque... Eh, por ahí me llegan mensajes de, ¿están evaluando? Hello, of course we are, we are evaluating. Yes, todas las composiciones, todas las cosas que, se está, que está corregido y en el Classroom sale todo. Lo que, las tareas que hiciste, las tareas que no hiciste, las tareas que tienen delay, las tareas que se entregan, se entregan a tiempo. Entonces está todo. Nada más que hay que ser sincero cada uno con su padre o madre y mostrarle esto es lo que hice. ¿Sí? Porque si no parece que el trabajo no se está haciendo. Y el trabajo se está haciendo. ¿Yes? Ok, thank you. Well, so let's go to unit. So we are going to talk about happiness. ¿Yes? Ok. I want you to tell me, ¿yes? Where is the place, ¿yes? That you think um, you feel uh, happy. ¿Yes? At home, um, in your bedroom, in a beach, ¿yes? In the mountain. When you are on holidays, I want you to name the place where you feel happy, yes? And why you feel happy there, yes? So, this is the first question in Unit 7, yes? What do you think makes the person who spends time in this room happy? And there is a boy there, and I, I, I looked for a picture. There is a boy there playing with a lorry. Yes, this is the picture that you have on page 70. I want you to put the day on page 70, 71 and 72. Yes, okay. And there is a boy that is playing with uh, his toy. It is a lorry. And the question is, uh, what do you think makes a person who plays, who spends time in this room happy? Where are you happiest? So this is the question. Where, in what place 
are you the happiest person in the world? Yes? And I prepare this picture. <coughs> Perdón. <coughs> this picture for you. Yes? Okay? So there is a, um, another lesson there, a girl. Yes? Okay? Sorry, I'm drinking some water. Okay. Uh, there is a girl there, you know? Um, she's lying on the floor. Maybe she's in her bathroom. There is a plant there, a bag, I think it's her bag. Uh, on the left, yes, okay. There is a camera, a pink camera. And I don't know what stuff is this. Yes, okay, a kind of basket, yes. And she looks relaxed. So which is the place that you feel uh, the happiest person in the world? I think, I think she's in her bedroom. And most of the time, when we are in our bedroom, yes, okay, alone, in peace, yes, we feel the happiest person in the world. Why? Yes, because, um, you know, because we are relaxed, maybe, because we are uh, in, we have um, a kind of comfortability, if I can say this, yes, okay? Good privacy, yes, privacy. Do you think your privacy is very important to feel happy? Yes, where do you feel the happiest person in the world? At school? At home? Yes? And with whom? With your family? With friends? Yes, alone? You know, stop, because there are some people that feel uh, comfortable, that feel uh, happy when they are alone. Yes, okay? Good. Yes, okay. If we have to talk about a place, what could the place be? Yes, where you feel the happiest person in the world. I chose the sea. Yes, okay. Because I feel the happiest person in the world when I am I am near the sea. I feel there is a, a certain kind of connection between me. Yes, between the sea and I. Yes, I don't know why because I live near the river, but. Yes, okay, I feel very relaxed, yes, or maybe because when I am near the beach, it's connected to, it is always connected to holidays, so on holidays we are relaxed, of course, yes, okay, or when you are with a family member, yes, for example, you know, there is a, um, uh, a connection there between the two of them, I suppose she is the daughter, yes, and he is, um, her father, they are doing something, I think they are painting maybe, or I don't know, but what's this, yeah? But they are sharing a beautiful moment. So do you feel, when? Do you feel uh, you are the happiest person in the world when you are sharing a beautiful moment with your family, with friends, with mom, dad, yes, okay? Um, or do you consider that um, being with friends or being with a couple could be uh, the happiest moment in your life, yes? Is there a difference between, uh, as regard emotions, uh, emotionally talking when you are with friends and when you are with family? Uh, I read one of your uh, compositions, yes, okay, I read one of your compositions, I think it was uh, Ivan's, and it says that it is very important, he says that, uh, he said in that composition that it was very important to uh, find um, a certain, um, you know, balance between uh, the moments you share with your family and the moments you share you share with friends. So I really agree with him. Yes, because uh, you can't share moment with your family moments, but you have to um, find uh, yes another moment to uh, share with your friends too. Yes, because friendship. Is very important. So um, I prepare those pictures for you to warm up the unit, yes, and to say uh, which uh, is the place where uh, you feel the happiest person in the world, yes, okay, at university maybe, at school, yes, you know, many people think or consider that um, school is the place where you have the most um, important moments in life, yes, because there you have your friends. But uh, is friendship important? 
there. Yes, okay. Uh, do these friends, um, do you think all these friends are going to uh, be with you all the time during or uh, in all the moments you need? Yes, okay. Uh, well, I want you to think about it. Yes, I want you to think about it if it is a place where you feel the happiest person in the world or if it is a moment that you could choose which moment could it be yes okay well this was to warm up yes a bit yes okay uh well shall we go to exercise um three yes okay listen to felicia's answer how did she compare the photographs did she make the same points as you okay so i warm up this and at home Yes, you have to warm up, talk about these ideas, okay? Is it clear? Good. So let's go. Unit 7. Well-being. Speaking and use of English focus. Activity 3. Well, let me see. This is a very interesting pair of photographs. They both show children with their toys and things. The little girl seems to be very happy. The boy looks a bit surprised. Perhaps he doesn't know what is happening. Nearly everything the girl has is pink, while all the boy's stuff is blue. I don't know how many of these things the children chose for themselves. I wonder. The girl looks about four years old, Whereas the little boy must be about two. I think that the photographer has probably arranged the children with all their things because I'm sure... You know, you have already realized about the pictures they are describing, yes? The girl in pink and the boy in blue. Then we are going to talk about colors too. Well, that their rooms don't usually look like that. The things are important to them for different reasons. Some are maybe presents that they want to keep for a long time, whereas others are toys that they play with every day. Some are perhaps things that they collect and put on shelves to look at. Maybe some things aren't very important to them now, but they just don't want to throw them away. Thank you. Carlos, what was your favorite possession when you were a child? My first bicycle. My grandparents bought it for me for my birthday. I was very proud of it. Okay, so uh, I was about to bring it, but I really forgot. Yes, I, uh, my favorite possession was a Barbie because I only have one Barbie. Yes, not like my daughter that they have many Barbies, but that was my favorite possession. It was a present given to me by a very special uh, woman. Yes, okay, a friend of my mother. Yes, and it was a Barbie, and if you see the Barbie, yes, it is, oh my God, it is very, uh, in very good conditioner, conditions, okay, conditioner, conditions, yes, okay, but this is to talk about your favorite possession, do you have any, you are very young, but do you have any favorite possession at home, yes, okay, a CD, or I don't know, a bag, a doll, yes, that you don't want to throw, yes, okay, that you don't want to throw, sorry, that you don't want to throw. Yes, so I want you to think about it, yes? And what was your favorite possession when you were a child? Your bicycle, a scooter, uh, a doll, yes? Okay, think about that and talk why it was your favorite possession, yes? Okay, uh, that, at those times, Barbies, uh, it was the original Barbie, and at those times, the Mattel one, yes? And at those times, Barbies were very expensive, yeah? Um, yes? Um, I saw this Barbie and I fell in love with her. Yes, okay. It has, uh, it had all the clothes, all the stuff that came with the, the the Barbie in the in the box. Yes, okay. And it was very, very, very beautiful. Okay, think about it. Yes, okay. Well, so I want you to uh, listen again and complete exercise five. Yes, okay. You will do it at home. Yes, remember to stop the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Number five seems. Number two, looks. Number three, props. Number four, why? Number five, where else? Number uh, must be, yes, okay, to speculate. Number six, sure. Yes, okay, good. Well, 
So let's go to exercise uh, seven. Yes, and I want you to highlight this chart. Yes, it says full and less carry positive and negative ideas. You know, careful. Yes, and careless. Yes, some of them are positive and some of them of them of them, of them are negative. Okay, so uh, I want you to go to uh, exercise five. I will dictate again. Yes, okay, it's done. Yes, okay, I have already said. Let's go to exercise seven. Yes, look at the adjective, decide if the underlying parts of the words are prefixes or suffixes. Number one, so we have prefixes, you know, prefixes go before. Yes, okay, un, in. Yes, un, from unhappy, in for informal. Suffixes at the end, less, careless, okay, and care, cheerful, careful, I was about to say, okay? So I want you to go to exercise eight, do exercise eight, do exercise nine, do exercise 10, okay, from this page, yes? And I want you to put on exercise 11, who makes you happy speaking, yes? Speaking three minutes, yes? Okay, because we are going to talk about this in the three minutes video, yeah? That you talk about the units and everything, yes, okay? But uh, in this occasion, on this occasion, I have asked, I didn't ask any of the three minutes video talking about any of the topics here in the book, but I changed it because I, um, I will ask, you know, the three minutes video, but about the signs of four. And you will explain from chapters one to chapter four, yes. Why? Because I need um, grades for literatura complementaria de los boletines de calificaciones. So this is very important for you to hand in, please. Okay, well, so I will, uh, you do it, exercise eight, nine and 10, remember to pause the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers, okay? First of all, the chart, are you there? You have uh, the words in exercise two, I want you to highlight the words there in exercise eight, okay? So we have un, are you ready? Unfortunate, unexpected, unlikely, in, impolite, impossible, this, dishonest, in, incorrect, inexperienced, informal, ear, irregular, irrelevant. You need to study by heart these new words. Some words as, for example, impossible, impolite, you already know, but focus on the new words, all right? And I want you to write examples in your notebooks of compositions, okay? Using these words, yes? Okay, number nine, okay? Number one, painful. Number two, useless. Number three, careful. Number four, joyful. Number five, pointless. And number six, hopeful, okay? Is it clear? Good, so let's go to happiness. Number ten, one. Successful, this is the word building that you always have in the test, okay? One question, are you studying for the global exam? Because it's very near, yes, okay? Study please. Successful, two, beautiful, three, peaceful, four, unpleasant, five, unable, I will drink some water, six, impatient, Yes, six, impatient, seven, homeless, eight, unhappy, nine, disconnected, ten, satisfied. Okay, is it clear? And it's a very good text, yes, about um, happiness, how you measure. Uh, do you think you are a very, very, very happy person? Uh, what makes you happy? What things makes a person happy? Yes, to have money? To have friends, to have friends and family, to have objects that you want, things that you want. Yes, okay. Um, well, do you consider Walter White was a happy person? What do you think? What about uh, Mr. Pinkman? Yes, do you think he was happy? Because they have a lot of money. Yes, but in the end, were they really happy? 
What about those moments when they feel, yes, um, alone, yes? You know what I'm talking about, yeah? So I want you to focus on them, yes, and think if they were really happy. What about the, the big man boy? Was he happy, yes? I think most of the time he felt very, very alone. He felt loneliness, yes? Okay, so I want you to think about that, yes? Um, well, yes, so let's go to page 72, yes, okay? So we are going to go to vocabulary. So I, I talk about these different things because I want, you, I want to warm you up, yes? Because I want you to be prepared for talking, yes, for exchanging ideas. So when we do the talking part, as I do, you have to do it at home too, okay? Is it clear? Good. So uh, it says, can money buy us health and happiness? And this is a very good question, yes? We were talking the two boys before, the man and the boy before. Were they happy? Eh? Were they happy when they had all that money? But I think money brought them problems, big, big, and bigger, bigger problems, okay? Well, yes, we can, one day when you come back, we're going to talk about uh, happiness in their lives, yes, okay? Um, well, so you have to read the comments below about new to be uh, programs related to health, match the name of the programs from one, from one to three with the comments from A to C, okay? Is it clear? And you're going to complete the comments with the words in the box. And then we're going to listen and check, okay? So, and I want you to um, do exercises from here. Two, three, four, and five. And, yes, that's all, yes? Okay, so I will prepare the listening while you are doing the things. And then, if you need to have more time, you know it's the time to stop the video, do the activity. Unit 7. And then listen to Vocabulary focus. Okay? Good. Good. So we have 1C, 2A, and 3B. Okay? Number 3. A, protein. Two benefits. Do you eat a lot of food with? Uh, do you eat food with a lot of proteins? Yes. Okay. Benefits. What benefits do you think they could uh, eating healthy could bring, could bring people? Yes. Okay. Number three, 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 three. Going down. Yes. Number four, aching. Oh my, my back is aching. Yes. Okay. Good. Number five, balanced. Yes. Do you think it is important to uh? go on a balanced diet or to have a balanced diet okay b one call painkillers okay you know what painkillers are yes okay this was in number two yes like taking painkillers yes okay cough medicine and putting a plastic putting a plastic plaster on a cut, a plaster, yes, okay, good, uh, then up, number three, up, three, up, yes, picked up, you know, picked up, stomach, back, stomach, uh, yes, okay, or uh, number four, caught, a back cold, yes, okay, or got a minor injury, number five, Twisting, yes, twisting, torcer, yes, okay. Number C, regular. Do you do regular exercises? Working. Number two, working. Workout. Number three, working out, yes. Number three, keep fit. Number four, life expectancy, yes, okay. Good. Number five. Yeah, what is life expectancy? Is the time do you do you consider you would live? Yeah. Do you think nowadays people have a, a more uh, life, pardon, uh, a longer life expect expectancy? Yes. Okay. And then you have number five. 
Yes, shape. Yes, okay. Number five, in good shape. Okay, do you work out to have your body in good shape? Yes, okay. And then you have number four, chest compressions. Number two, emergency services. Number four, a stuffy nose. Yes, okay, stuffy nose. Yes, like this. Yes, like when you are doing everything like this and when you have a cold, yes, okay, that is, uh, that we call it stuffy nose, okay, and get a minor injury, okay. And number five, well, it's uh, for you. I want you to highlight all these words because these are very important words from this unit, okay. Highlight words from A, from B, and from C, okay. So it says, what three things are important for a balanced diet? Diet, well, eat with proteins, um, low fat food, yes. Uh, what else? Vegetables, fruits, yes, okay. Um, what other easy way is there to keep fit? Well, doing exercises, working out, yes, okay. Cycling, walking, yes, that's depend on you. Yes, okay. What do you do when you catch a cold? Well, depending on that, if it is a very um, serious cold, yes, okay, well, you have to stay in bed, yes, you can't do anything because you don't have enough energy for doing work, for example, or anything else, okay? Well, remember for next class, you have the uh, exam maximizer, pages 42, 43 and 44, for an, ex an exercise 3 from that page. You have to read the sign of four, uh, chapters three and four, because for last class it was chapters um, one and two. You have to do the brainstorming, yes, okay? Write the brainstorming, send me to, uh, to the Google Classroom, and then re uh, record a three minutes video talking about the sign of four from chapters one to chapter four. Sean responsables, por favor. Manden las cosas en tiempo y forma. Recuerden que esta nota es para literatura complementaria del de boletín. No solo la nota del brainstorming, sino la nota del oral. Ustedes saben que es necesario para la libreta. Yes, ok. Trabajen con eh, responsabilidad. Bye bye. See you next class.